What's going on, guys? Vic BP back with another Game Case Arcades video, part three. Robbie's build. I'm not too even sure what I'm gonna go over this, but let's rock. So again, want to make these videos just so Robbie knows a couple tutorials on how to navigate and stuff. Uh, let's bring up real quick MS DOS. Um, so MS DOS, most of the games were with keyboards. Some of the games used the gamepad. Um, big thing is just keep in mind we'll have to actually test each game or whatever. Um, but I wanted to load up, let's say, Doom real quick. Hold pressing on the X button. So we got Doom here. Let's just see what do we got. See, so like, if I'm pressing circle, it did enter. Uh, press circle again. So I got square, shoot. Again, in all honesty, um, I have Joytiki set to read off as actual keyboard input. So I think like square was like shift or like control. Yeah, like if I grab a keyboard, if I press control, it is actually the square button is set to control. Um, so again, didn't test all MS-DOS games. Keep that in mind. I think it's something where like when you're actually going to play it, um, we'll have to actually like look at it and and such um but other than that most of the games do work i'm not going to make it sound like a bad thing um you could use either the d-pad um so for example r1 i think was like shift uh, i forgot what button it was but basically like if you hold r1 it's actually a keyboard input and now you could strafe instead of actually spinning if i hold r1 i could strafe and such so just keep that in mind when it comes to uh you know some ms dos games you will probably need the keyboard again Holding on the PlayStation controller, it escapes out. So, again, a lot of games for MS-DOS. Uh, I'll be honest, MS-DOS um, is not better. Again, they are basically almost the same, just different emulators running. Um, and, like, maybe one or two games in this wheel won't launch, but it will launch in MS-DOS. So, again, just going through a couple of things. Uh, MSX, all these are are pretty easy systems that worked very well. Um, so for example, here we have an MSX that probably used keyboard inputs, but again, it does work fairly good with the PlayStation controller. Cause again, I have it basically joy to key mimicking each input as an actual, um, keyboard input. Let's launch this one just for kicks. Loading complete. We got the MSX Batman. Let me check my audio levels. So I guess here, oops, I didn't even pick anything. If I do like three, so joystick, let's see what happens. Yes. I honestly think if you did keyboard or joystick, it would work. Ooh. And again, we try to keep this. We didn't stretch. We I didn't stretch any image on it. Throw that battering. There you go. Okay, there is a duck. There is no jump. Oof! I just ducked. <laughs> I can't believe I just got away with that. Oh, cool! He just jumped down. So again, Robbie requesting a couple of these very classic, awesome consoles um again just a heads up i did basically map joy to key to mimic keyboard inputs so again even though we do have the playstation controller i could still have a keyboard handy i'm not even pushing this and i could basically just use keyboard inputs so just keep that in mind let's exit out we could hold down the playstation button and it's set to escape basically very easy stuff um Philips CDI. Let's see that. Get into it. Uh, I'm not too sure what even game to look for. <laughs> Zelda. Interesting. So holding down X. We'll let this load. Loading complete. The Philips CDI, the Amiga 32. No, it was the Amiga 32. The emulator, again, like I said, is the WinUAE. 
Um, on and off, a little iffy, giving me a little bit of a headache sometimes, but let's just see how this goes. So this, we do have an actual play button. Do I need the mouse? Let's see what happens if I press play. Again, I used the mouse on that, and I did the mouse click on that. Cool. So, using right now PlayStation controller. And it looks like, see, like, I, this is a game I didn't test. Uh, if I do... Looks like I need actual left click. Hmm. I'm going to try to actually just map out. And I could do it real quick, luckily. I'm going to set, like, the X to be the mouse click. Hmm. What happens if I try to attack? Yes. Okay, cool. So you see, like, different games do different things. So I'm going to have to actually map out the X button, probably, to be a left click. So now, real quick, uh, with the Philips CDI, it's using MES, which is almost like MAME emulator. Um, so I could press the tab button, and as you can see, I could adjust um, accordingly. Um, so, for example, here, if I do mouse button 1, I could do as X. So I just change that to the joystick 1. I could press down, change mouse button 2 to, let's just say, circle. Circle. And there you go. So if you do mess up like I just did, you hit the delete key, enter, and then assign to it. So right now, I can now enjoy this game. So cool. I mean, again, not too bad. Pretty interesting stuff. Again, stuff that you have to actually play and see it. So as you can see with the Philips CDI, if you do want to enter to uh, entertain, if you want to uh, change a couple inputs, in the game, you press tab and just change accordingly. Easy stuff. Not too bad. Pressing tab and we're back. I hit escape. Again, basic stuff. Just want to go through, a, again, basic, basic, basic stuff. In a separate tutorial, I'm going to show you how to navigate rocket launcher in case you need to edit um, further. Let's see. PlayStation. Again, everything. I know for a fact all the regular systems, the common systems, are easily set. I'm only more worried about, Robbie, to be honest with you, with the, like, the MSX stuff, the Commodore, the Amiga, and, um, what is the one that I'm thinking about? Uh, MS-DOS. Um, again, trying to mimic, basically, the PlayStation controller to the keyboard. So, again, other than that, Basic stuff, easy stuff. I would actually rather show you the Amiga issue. Not an issue in a bad way. It's just like the emulator takes time to exit uh, as far as in um, Windows. Let's launch Battletoads, for example. Loading complete. I never got into Battletoads, I don't know why. Now, the real quick thing about this emulator, and it's kind of tedious, it's it's actually been kicking my butt, honestly. Um, I have it set to the PlayStation controller. I have it set to the joysticks. I guess it depends on the game, I don't know. But, for example, um, I never actually ran... I have run Battletoads, yes. So, I could use, like, the D-pad, or I could use the analog stick. And basically, if I press the square button, as you can see, like, I got the punch, and if I'm far away from the characters, it's a jump. Again, I don't know if it's pressing two buttons, um, but it doesn't make sense. I think it's just how the game is. That's what's kind of confusing myself on it, because I'm like, is it jump or is it punch? I'm not sure, but maybe that's how the game is. Um, but that's basically how this emulator runs. Again, it's set to keyboard inputs using Joy to Key. If you hold the PlayStation controller button on this, I did this setup because, again, this emulator... If press escape it sometimes takes a little bit to kind of exit um but there's a couple of pluses and minuses with this menu on the left here you have your input so you could actually switch up the input 
So as you can see here, it is reading my dual shock as a mouse, fire one, fire two, fire three. So it's there. Um, you could always come here and change it. You basically click on it. Um, let's just see. I think you have to enable and then disable. Uh, and then, oh, yeah, it's here. See, you could just click on this down arrow. And, for example, like if you wanted to change button two, which is already pre-configured, uh, if I do button four, which, again, you would have to figure out what button is button four on this, you come here, and then you could assign it. Um, once you're done, you can press OK, and then you're back to playing. Again, it is set. I have it set up accordingly, but some games you might have to kind of edit it, but I don't think you should. Um, if I hold down, again, PlayStation button, big thing is uh, you could press quit right here, and it'll basically exit, or you could just press escape on the keyboard, and it'll exit. The only reason I did that is because right now it's still kind of turning off in the background, um, but... I mean, even with me pressing the escape key, Loading complete. it launches it. It works. So it's fine. You know what I mean? Again, you could basically come here and just press quit, and it'll bring you back into hyperspin either way you pick it. Um, other than that, that's really it as far as like the, your classic systems. That's really all it is.